legend has it that if you get a Taco Bell burrito and you go to the top of Love Circle and you take a bite out of the burrito while Colder Weather by Zac Brown Band is playing and throw it at like the peak of the song, then you'll find true love within the next year. And the next day is when Steven asked me on a date. You're my girl. You're the best friend I've ever had and will ever have. Um, you are my sister. You are my family. I know, I can't do it. I tan like my tan. Are those like romance books? That's amazing. I need them all. I need to learn about romance and getting married. Small town bride. I'm a big town bride. I'm like, tan my bag. <laughs> Steven, I remember a few years ago Taylor and I were in California together. There were these friends that prayed over us. The Lord cares about your husbands and He cares about the things that you care about. Like afterwards, Taylor and I went on a walk and we were like, have you been thinking about boys? And I was like, no. And so we kind of dismissed it. And then you came along. I can't imagine somebody more perfect for Taylor. Yeah. How did I miss that? Can I tell you that to you again? <laughs> it's from the letter you wrote me at my high school graduation. Oh, I, I can't. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, I never knew that. <laughs> I know, I didn't tell you because I knew you'd tell Dad. <laughs> okay, I needed a laugh. That's good. I'm glad you made me laugh. You love me? I love you so much. You're a baby girl. That is my handwriting. I know it is, Mama. You've been waiting for this moment, oh, haven't you? And yeah. then I missed it. You two are some of the most supportive, encouraging people I've ever met in my entire life. And I know that if I ever needed anything, I could come to you. God's love is just shown through everything that the two of you do. The time that I knew that you guys were perfect for each other, it was pretty clear when I saw them interacting and I saw the way that love wasn't just let's be sweet and whatever all the time, but it was let's talk about things that help us and the people around us love better and be better people. I've seen that time and time again and to me that's all the evidence I need that you're as perfect for each other as any human beings can be. I love you guys. I love you guys. Taylor, I love you more than I knew I could ever love anyone. Your generosity, your kindness, your compassion, your humor. You're the most beautiful, unique, encouraging person I've ever met in my whole life. You have a way of finding the best in people, finding people's strengths, and just encouraging those and helping them to flourish. I've told him this a hundred times before. But I couldn't have ever created someone as perfect for me as you. I want you to know that you are enough always, that I love you, that the Lord loves you, that you are an astounding man. I've never met someone that is as thoughtful, as caring, as anything as you. I can't believe I get to spend the rest of my life with you. And even when things are, are really challenging, I know that you'll be a rock by my side and that neither of us will ever abandon each other. You'll understand why we make vows in a wedding ceremony and not promises. A promise says, I'm pretty sure I can take care of this. It relies on our confidence in our own abilities and commitments. A vow is a whole different thing. 
A vow is a commitment that is so ridiculously big that the God who hears the vow must actually help us keep it. A marriage becomes a marriage in those impossible moments when it is obvious that nothing else but sacrificial love keeps you together. I, Stephen, take you, Taylor, to be my wife. I, Taylor, take you, Stephen, to be my husband. And these things I promise you. I will be faithful to you and honest with you. Respect, trust, help, and care for you. I will share my life with you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. And I will try with you to better understand ourselves, the world, and God. Through the best and worst of what is to come, as, as long, long as we live. I now pronounce you to be husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Stephen, you may kiss your bride. Oh, I love you so much. I love you too. I'm so happy. Holy crap. We did it. We did it. Woo! <laughs>from being with you, from your wisdom and your support and your guidance. I truly feel like the absolute luckiest person in the entire world to get to partner with you. I can't wait. I really can't wait. This is the greatest adventure. I promise that I'll love you and I'll walk with you through anything that the future brings. And I'm so unbelievably grateful for you. I love you so much, Taylor. So it has to be divine, like it has to be ordained. Like there's nothing, there's no person, no human, human thought that could have um, brought this together, brought us together other than God. And I'm so thankful. I love you. I'll always love you with my whole heart more than I've ever loved anyone or anything. <laughs> it's weird. It's crazy. I've never experienced love like this before. When I first began seeing um, the completely selfless ways that Taylor goes out of her way to serve people, to cook meals for large groups of people, um, to just really see a need in someone's life and take steps to immediately address it, even if it costs her something and she doesn't get anything in return. Um, I just saw that countless times over and over again, and uh, that's, that's how I knew that um, I needed to spend my whole life with her. I never believed in soulmates. I uh, thought maybe for some people, um, and I've even told you this before, um, that I think people, you know, find people and they fit together and it works, but you've changed that and turned me into a sappy believing in soulmates and believing in true love, romantic, and I wouldn't want it any other way. It's fire, I'm allowed to cry, I'm allowed to cry, I'm allowed to cry.
and if there was ever going to be an addition to T&M till the end, like, it's you. I realized that Stephen was the one that I was going to marry when we were driving back from meeting his uh, brother and sister in Greenville, South Carolina. This was last summer, July of 2018. And something about long car rides really just pulls a lot out in people. Um, and we just got to spend a lot of time talking and getting to know each other and falling more in love. Um, and I just have a distinct memory of like on that trip, just a sense of knowing um, that this was the man I was going to spend the rest of my life with. 